What is going on everyone? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jossie Lin J, but you could just call me Jossie. I've been working on desk setup videos for about a year and a half and my own desk setup has been evolving. I'm really excited about today's video because it's a desk setup video, but from two different perspectives. As you may already have noticed, my desk setup looks a little bit different compared to what it looked like previously when I made this kind of video. So I wanted to show two different desk setups to show different options and more inspiration. To do that, I've got my friend Mayuko who's gonna show us her desk setup as well in this video. Hi there, my name is Mayuko and I run a YouTube channel where I talk about the tech industry, careers in tech, and lifestyle. In my videos, I give you my opinions about tech, I give you some career tips and advice, especially to those entering the industry, and I vlog sometimes. Another thing that excites me about this video is that we're gonna be sharing our desk setup based on the type of programmer we are. So I'm more of a web developer, full stack software engineer, whereas my Yugo focuses on mobile software engineering. When we refer to our desk setup, it goes beyond just the countertop and the drawers and some of the peripherals and the monitor that we use, but also the device that powers the entire desk setup, right? The Dell XPS 15 9570 is actually what powers my desk setup. Correction, the laptop I've been using is a Dell XPS 15 7590. This version has the 4K OLED Infinity Edge display. I do plan on upgrading to the 2020 version of the XPS 15 or maybe the Dell XPS 17. This laptop has an i7 processor, GeForce GTX 1650 with four gigs of graphics and 16 gigs of RAM. I've thoroughly enjoyed using the XPS 15, especially the 4K OLED Infinity display. I've made a handful of videos talking about my switch from Mac to PC that you can check in the description box. From a software development experience, the XPS 15 has been great. Having that 15.6 inch 4K OLED display, especially when using it as an additional display or using it when I'm away from my desk setup. Some of my favorite applications that I use nearly every day as a developer and content creator on my XPS 15 are Visual Studio Code. Git Bash, Cloud App, Lightroom, Zoom, Spotify, and Premiere Pro. If you're someone like myself who is looking to switch from Mac to PC, then the Dell XPS will be a great pickup. You get a lot of power and a beautiful display for a reasonable price. So I'm a Mac girl through and through. I've used Mac all of my life. And so I have the 15 inch MacBook Pro. I bought this before the 16 inch came out around 2018. The processor is a 2.9 gigahertz, six core Intel Core i9. I loaded this one up with 32 gigs of memory and one terabyte of storage. I kind of souped up the 15 inch MacBook Pro because I needed to use it for iOS development and also video editing. So I needed the technical specs in order to be able to do all of that heavy lifting. The laptop also has the same specs of the laptops that I get at every developer job. And so I already knew that this was gonna be enough for me. And I bought a laptop over a desktop because I wanted to be mobile with it. I wanted to be able to go to coffee shops and also travel with it too. I also got the silver one because a lot of people have the space gray MacBook Pro and I just wanted something different. My work laptop, which was the exact same one, was in space gray. So just to have a different color, I got the silver one. Over the past few months, I've realized that there's an aspect to the desk that's overlooked and underappreciated and can be quite underrated. The office chair can be viewed as something that is a nice to have and not necessarily at the top of everyone's desk setup list. I also believe that until I started using the autonomous Ergo Chair 2. This is by far the most comfortable chair I've experienced and sometimes I even find myself wanting to sit in this chair opposed to everything else in my apartment. A few things I want to quickly highlight about this chair that has made it such a great experience is first, the lumbar support. Lumbar support is arguably the most important feature this chair has to offer. I spent hours upon hours programming and editing in this chair and haven't experienced any back pain thanks to the ergonomics of this chair. 
The design is quite impressive. I really am not a fan of those bulky chairs that take away from a minimal and modern aesthetic that I'm trying to achieve. And this chair actually improves my office aesthetic. And I always feel so inspired walking over to my desk when I have a task to complete or something to create. So my chair I bought on Amazon a few years back. Now I actually can't find the listing for this chair anymore. I looked all through my purchase history, but it was about $150. I bought this one because it was the same chair I had on my work at the time and it wasn't a thousand dollars and I've been really enjoying it. It's got great lumbar support, the seat is super comfortable to sit in, and it's big enough for me to put my legs up on. The height of the chair is adjustable like many others and so is the height of the armrests too. And as developers, we spend a ton of time in our chairs and so I'm just really glad that I have one with good lumbar support. Honestly, it was just a great upgrade from like the IKEA chair that I had in college. One of my favorite tech items just in general, but it is a part of my desk setup, is the Logitech MX Master 3. I really enjoy the MX Master 3 because the shape of the mouse fits perfectly in the palm of my hand. It's like it's not even there, which allows me to enjoy my experience behind a computer screen for long hours at a time. You can scroll a thousand lines per second, which is a feature I definitely enjoy and take advantage of as a software engineer scrolling through hundreds and even thousands of lines of code at a much faster pace than your average mouse. With intuitive controls that you can customize to your liking per app, this has made me a more efficient developer and honestly, I couldn't imagine using anything else. For my mouse, I use a mouse that many people love in the developer community, which is the MX Master 3. So the one that I actually have is a Mac edition, the difference mainly being that they completely re-engineered the scroll wheel. My favorite part about this mouse and many other Logitech mice out there is that I can program it exactly how I want to use it. And you can program it per application too. So I have it programmed specifically for my coding IDE as well as my video editing software. It's honestly been a game changer because it's made my workflow way more efficient and way smoother. Like I feel like I'm writing code and editing videos like 1.5 times faster. The mouse also fits really comfortably on my hand and it looks really sleek on my desk too. Moving on to the next item on my desk. This is an item that a lot of you all ask about all the time and it is the Tautronics LED desk lamp. Tautronics light is both modern and very intuitive to use. The light is gentle on the eyes and shines a flicker-free light that can brighten up your space. What I enjoy the most about this light is the ability to change the ambience with five different color modes along with seven different brightness levels. You can also charge a device via the USB charging port so you don't have to sacrifice charging for lighting. This combination of modern and minimal design and functionality has made this lamp a go-to for every desk setup I've had. For lighting, I have a really basic setup. I bought this lamp from Ikea years and years ago and I just put a really warm light bulb on it. I like having a warm light on my desk because when I do go to my desk at night to work, I'd rather have something warm and easy on the eyes than something super bright and white. Most of the time I actually don't have it directed straight at me or my desk and I have it kind of reflecting off the wall to just create a really nice ambient glow. Just kind of like how I have it here actually, this is how it's set up most of the time. It's no brighter than my monitors at night, which is really good because it helps with that eye strain. Otherwise, I just think it looks really sleek on my desk and I like the shape and style of it a lot. Be sure to check out my Yuko's video where we talk about monitors, keyboard, and audio setups that work great for work from home desk setups. So that concludes my part of this software engineer work from home desk setup. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it at all. Comment down below some of your favorite tech for your desk setup. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I love for you all to become a part of this fantastic community of content creators and engineers. And as always, have a wonderful rest of your week. I'll see you all soon. Stay blessed. Peace. Peace.